take emotion out of decision making and let data guide you. What's happening? It's Eric J. Olson. If you're like me, you have a lot of decisions to make on a daily basis. A lot of times they're pretty mundane, boring decisions, not the biggest decisions you ever have to make. But every once in a while, you have bigger decisions that you have to make. And a lot of times there are a lot of people that are pulling you in one direction or pushing you in another. They have their opinion on what that decision should be. And now it's up to you to figure it out. And those times sometimes can get emotional. When you have a lot of people or even like just one person trying to influence you, they can get emotional about it. You can get emotional in response, either positively or negatively. And so sometimes I've found that I will make decisions based on emotion and or or based on either the strength of the argument or on the perceived strength of the argument. And I say perceived because when people get emotional, they will use different tactics to try to emphasize the correctness of their statement. They'll say things like, oh, in my experience, this definitely has to happen, or um, everybody does it this way. <laughs> or you know, I'm sure you've heard these kinds of like um, explicit statements that you, you need to, if, unless you're an idiot, you need to, you need to agree with me. And, and what I want to do, and what I've been trying to do more and more often here, is take that emotion out of the decision making. So what I want is data. So what I don't want, just as a as an example, is for someone to say, oh, um, actually, here is an example uh, using staff. Let's say there's someone who works for us named Bob, right? And Bob needs to do a particular job. If someone says, Bob's not doing a good job, what I want really is show me. Show me that he's not doing a good job, right? Show me his tasking that's late, right? Show me the data. Show me all of the bugs that you've caught in his work that you had him redo. Show me the data so that I can determine that Bob is no good. That's what I want. I want data. So uh, here's another example that comes up quite often. This client's not getting enough clicks, views, impressions, whatever the metric is. Okay, well, show me. And a lot of times when I look at the data, impartially because i you know i haven't been the one that's been watching this client data or whatever what i see is sometimes there's no change in data it's been like that for a year or it's actually gone up instead of down but i think people come to conclusions based on emotion and i do this too we all do we're, we're human beings what i intend to do more and more often and especially as these decisions have a bigger impact to me, the business, and to others, is I want to take emotion out and I want to be data-driven. And I'm starting to do this across the board at Array Digital here. So if someone comes to me with an impassioned plea that some change initiative is required, they're gonna hear me say, show me the data. I wanna see the data. And oftentimes they don't have the data. Uh, the data may not even exist. And so, okay, well, thing one you need to do is go collect the data and put together a case. Right. So, I mean, think if you were pitching, think if you were pitching the United States of America on something, you better have a really strong data based, uh, a very strong argument based on data. If you just go in there with emotion and you say, we should do this, they're going to throw you out of the Oval Office. Give me a break. It's the same here. Like, I'm, this is becoming a bigger company and the, the decisions have more impact on more people. And we're not just going to willy nilly make some decisions. So, bring me the data. And if you don't have it, Go find it. If you are, find yourself getting convinced, influenced, et cetera, to make a decision and you're uncomfortable, ask for the data. The data or lack thereof will tell you a lot. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, how to launch a seven figure business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.